Hi everyone. It is a pleasure to be present at the Ford International Clinical Engineering and Health Technology Management Congress. While we were unable to meet as planet our work and efforts to improve healthcare conditions through clinical engineering hold us together. This time we present a work that addresses the aspect of obsolescence by analyzing the most relevant aspects in its evaluation. The team is made up of Fabiola Martinez, professor of the electrical engineering department, and Yvonne Martinez, former biomedical engineering student whose interests are oriented to technology management, both from the Universidad Autónoma Metropolitana in Mexico City. This project is based on considering a state of obsolescence from the medical device reduction of the functions. This can be due to several factors, including an intensified workload from the equipment, increased conservation expenses, or the inability of not operating them correctly. Then the following questions arise. How do you know if the medical device should withdraw completely? Can it be able to function adequately in other areas? What decision should be taken in the best interest of the patient, medical staff, facilities? Thinking of these issues, we propose a method to support decision making on the final disposal of medical technology in a healthcare institution. The method was focused on the analysis of the obsolescence of diagnostic imaging equipment, in particular mammography, tomography, and x-ray. The methodology is based on addressing the aspects related to risk management. The objectives are aimed at controlling the patient risk and the safe use of medical technology. The factors that may intervene to analyze the degree of obsolescence of medical device were grouped into the following criteria access to diagnosis, accurate diagnosis, safety equipment. The outputs were classified as not obsolete, obsolescence latency, and obsolete. The goal is to design a method of assessment for this specific time in the life cycle of the medical device, given the consequences that having a device that presents a risk in its use can cause. It is intended to help decision makers with evidence that points to actions that optimize the technological resource in the hospital. With benefits for the decision making process, the biomedical engineering departments, and ultimately the patient that requests health services. Here I present the factors that were considered for the evaluation of obsolescence, taking into account the aforementioned criteria. They are classified into clinical, technical, economic, and social categories, and are organized in a linear process scheme with inputs and outputs. In the clinical setting, information related to the use, the rate of erroneous results, the quality protocols and the level of radiation used were considered as inputs. This information is obtained through a format that is applied for each equipment considered and taken as references international standards, for example, safe radiation levels, formal media references such as articles or reports from clinics that determine acceptable false positive rates, etc. At an output, the information is mapped to determine the degree of diagnostic accuracy and safety for the patient. In the economic sphere, the emphasis is on the costs of maintenance, supplies, and studies. As an output, we obtain information related to the operating conditions of the equipment and the access to it every time it is required. The technical aspect is related to the time out of service, maintenance reports, lack of spare parts and reported failure incidents to obtain as outputs information about the optimal operation of the equipment, 
its response to diagnostic needs and safety. Finally, the social sphere includes factors related to the knowledge that the patient has of the procedure to be performed, the coverage and timeliness of the service. As an output, it is intended to obtain information on access to the service and approximation of the impact on society. We present two simulated cases of medical equipment that were evaluated based on the proposed methodology. In case one, numerical values were obtained that pointed to a state of latent obsolescence, which implies that equipment must be kept under observation, and a state of not obsolete. The sum of the factors associated with access, accuracy, and security derived a state of latent obsolescence. In case two, the method determined a state of latent obsolescence where the associated factors go towards obsolescence and under observation. Also, both cases are associated with the same state. The method offers information on the aspects related to the factors considered. The graphic representations make it possible to identify those aspects where the opinion on the condition of the equipment presents less weight. There are areas in which the aspects considered, access to diagnosis, accurate diagnosis, and safety are not obsolete, triangle in green, in observation, triangle in yellow, and obsolete, triangle in red. The blue triangle corresponds to the final number values of the case. Thus, case one presents an equipment with acceptable degree of safety while based on the information obtained, both the access and the accurate diagnosis are under observation. This makes the equipment under observation and provides evidence to consider a planet replacement. For case two, although it has the same output as case one, the equipment presents problems regarding its safety and access to diagnosis. This implies that the equipment must go under rigorous observation and a short-term replacement must be considered. The effective management of medical devices allows their optimized use and their effectiveness in helping patient care. In this sense, the task of the clinical engineering go beyond operational processes. The participation in the analysis of the functionality and security of the equipment throughout its life cycle is essential to obtain sufficient evidence to support decision making. So, to the extent that the knowledge and experience in the development of methods like these, benefits will be obtained on several fronts. Thank you very much for your attention.